WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. Basil Chapman here. The Dow is down 158 at 34,219. It's turning that lowercase h into the lowercase m pattern. We've got that second arch formation. It must hold 34,000 this week. Otherwise, it's going to go quite a bit deeper. So uh, that's the S&P. Uh, that's the Dow. The S&P itself is also trading down. Dow's down about 0.48 percent. S&P is down for only 0.20 percent at 43, 4342, down 850. But it is also making lower lows right here in the second arch formation. It failed again at that. Uh, Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone this is affecting the weekly chart as well. And the QQQ has tried earlier to uh, to have a, a bigger rally. It's actually up a dollar thirty seven. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, 358.60, but it is really struggling here. There could be a little bit of a balance. It needs to get to the 362 level within a day or two. Uh, otherwise, it's really going to be looking quite poorly. IWM, the Russell 2000. Where are we on the Russell 2000? We're actually up 22 cents to 221.74. They keep rotating between the different sectors. This has held well, but it hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, look at gold. Gold right now is up just 35 points. Very strong leg C. I, I discussed this the other day. Remember, this is a stalk leg formation or the one to one breakout. This is a very nice move. It makes the 3804 200 period moving average very strong resistance. See if how it can deal with that. This is a good sign. Uh, it's also part of the inflationary sign. And we're looking at the dollar pulling back a little bit from its uh, most recent high. And we'll do that in one second. Let me just type that in there. Uh, DXY, we're looking at the dollar index. Pulling back, actually now it's quite sharp, down 30 cents at 94.21. Just missed making a new recovery high. I think we're in for a consolidation here. And that's going to help gold, at least in the short term. We can't talk about the intermediate term just yet. And look at the TLT. The TLT is the Lehman 20 Treasury bond fund trying to rally here. Can the TLT at 145 try to get to that 146, 147 level to show that yields are coming down? That's going to be the big question over the next few days. But this is a big move in the bonds with the yields finally pulling back a little bit after the spectacular move. Crude oil, crude oil is up near the recovery high, straightening down just 27 cents at 80.37. Watch this closely. If crude oil starts to trade in the 83s at any time in the next week, whew, that's going to be an impact on the, on the economy. Stay tuned. Larry Presavento is coming up. Should, should be a wonderful program as always. A great programmer here. You've got Larry, you've got Steve, you've got Dave, you've got Tom. Have a great day. Oh, and check out the, my opening call uh, webinar coming up Tuesday the 19th. Front page of TFNM. Have a great day. <laughs>